The Bainbot motor controller is a very popular controller used on many robots for controlling motors that have higher voltage and current requirements than what the microcontroller can provide. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect and wire the controller to your pickaxe and motor and battery. Alright, so let's go ahead and just move a few things around here first. So I have a little bit more room. All right, so there are about the same kinds of connection on the main bot as there is on the Parallax HP25. They just look a little bit different. So there are the motor connections. That is this wire here. So let's say that this is connected to our motor. And the other one going to the motor as well. So these two get connected to your motor. Polarity is not important other than controlling the direction of your motor. So if when you give it a command it's turning the wrong way, simply reverse these two leads. The red and the black wire are for your power connections to your battery. So be sure to observe polarity. So make sure that the positive side of your battery is connected to the red and that the black is connected to your negative. So we have our battery connection and we have our motor connection. What that leaves us with are the connections to the microcontroller. There are three of them. And you can probably see in this picture that there's a white, a red, and a black. So that white one that's going to be our PWM signal. There is then the red one. That's going to get connected to our plus 5 volts. And then finally there is the black one that is getting connected to our ground. So the connections are very simple very basic for this Bainbot motor controller. So let's see how we would then go ahead and control this using the pickaxe program. Well the first thing that the motor controller is going to require us to do is to send it a neutral pulse. We do that using the servo command. So servo and we need to give it the port that our PWM signal cable is plugged into. Let's say for this example it is B.7. So I'm going to say B.7 so it knows which pin I have my motor controller connected to. Now remember again always use symbols when appropriate and certainly it would be appropriate to use it here but in order to keep this short and give myself enough room I'm leaving that out. Now what needs to follow is the pulse of the neutral, which is a 1.5 millisecond pulse with the servo command that would simply be a 150. Then stick a pause in here. I put in a one second pause. Yours may be able to be shorter. You can experiment and see what works for you. Now all we need to do to control our motor is simply give it servo position command. So if I want this motor to turn full speed in one direction, give it servo position. As always I need to specify the pin that this is on. It's going to be my B.7 and I need to give it then the value corresponding to the speed. Now what I found is that a 218 was the largest value that I could use. If I used, even though the servo POS command will take a larger value, that if I use that, this either would not operate or would have erratic behavior. Yours may vary a little bit with your microcontroller and your main bot controller, so you may need to experiment a little bit, but I found mine to be 218. So what that's going to do is cause this motor to turn in one direction or the other at full speed. 150 is stopped. 218 was the maximum speed in one direction. And let's say in this program I'm going to do that for 
one second. So let's put in here another pause and give it another servo POS command. Still obviously on B.7. But now I'm going to make it turn full speed in the opposite direction. And what I found was that an 80 worked for me. Anything less, technically the servo POS can go lower, <clears throat> anything less caused this not to work or be erratic. So now my motor has reverse direction and is going full speed in that reverse direction. I could give it whatever value I want, in this case anything between 80 and 218 to control the speed and the direction of this motor. And with the servo POS command, once I give it that command, that'll run in the background. I do not need to continue to put this in a loop or anything in order to keep it going. All right, so that concludes on how to program and wire the BAMBOT motor controller.